Sorry, sir. Saturday will not open. Well, that's sort of the point. Sorry, sir. See? I'm gonna need some work done, and I'm gonna need it done uh, privately. I'm sorry. You said you needed the work done. This is a medical clinic, isn't it? Well, of course it is, sir, but for animals. God, man, what happened to you? You need medical oh, attention. Oh, okay, sir. Oh, listen, oh, you, you, I'm gonna get an ambulance. Oh! Nobody's gonna be doing any calling here, doctor. Fine. What do you want? I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I don't think I can do this. The nerves. Look, you need a specialist. Okay? You, you need somebody who knows what they're doing. I don't have the luxury of choice here, doctor. My hand has been in that box for hours now. It is dying. Sir, I am not capable of doing this. I only have one hand. I can stick this in your neck before you get to that door. Now, if that's not incentive enough for you, I see that you have a Mrs. Goudat out there with a name like that in a county like this. Oh, Mrs. Goudat would not be too hard to find now, would she? I can promise you nothing. Story of my life. I'll have to put you on that. Do I really look that stupid? Sir, I cannot do a procedure like this without an anesthetic. I have to cut away dead flesh. Nobody can undergo a procedure like this without an anesthetic. I ain't nobody. <laughs> done. Now I, I still have to clean it. But you're done. Yes. did my best under the circumstances. The good news, sir, is you had the hand iced, so I was able to restore blood flow and the bones are pinned. However, I, I recommend you get medical attention ASAP. Meanwhile, some aspirin will help thin the blood and avoid clotting. Some antibiotics, some painkillers. <laughs> I usually tell the owner of the dog, cat, whatever, to coat them with peanut butter so they're easier to chew, but obviously in your case... You did one hell of a job, Doc. Well, thank you. Well, uh, it's okay for you to leave now. Oh, I'm leaving. And you're not. What? You heard me. Look, sir, I haven't seen anything and I won't tell anyone. <laughs> well, no. You know, I fell for that bill of goods once before. Never again. Sir, I swear to God, I will tell nobody. You would, and I would die in prison. Please, 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 please. Now, you did me a solid, so I'm going to return the favor. This can go down humanely if you don't fight. But if you pull a stunt like that again, it's going to get inhumane right quick. Your call. But one way or another, I am putting you down, Doc. There is a belief in my religion which I know to be true, and it applies to everyone, Hindu or not. The acts we commit in this life determine where we go in the next. And he who commits evil can never hope for eternal happiness. Never been a goal of mine, Doc. I'm more here and now type. I'll tell you something I know is true. The Indians here, the Tomahawk variety. Some of them believe, well, used to believe before most of them were slaughtered, that when a warrior kills another in battle, he absorbs that fallen warrior's spirit. So this isn't the end for you, Doc. You're with me now.
thank you for calling out of star dr gudat am i pronouncing that correctly uh dead on how can i help you today i need uh directions where to sir utah